For cheap, safe, and reliable coin service, head on over to FIFACoinZone.com and make sure to use Dirty at checkout to get all that good extra discount. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and today I want to issue the question. Is Real Madrid going to be the best team in FIFA 16? And as you can see in the backdrop, EA dropped a brand spanking new trailer and they really focused on the visuals. And they do this most years. I actually thought this trailer was excellent. Great job with the music. Kind of got me pumped up for some of the new players or just some of the more in-depth images. And I will say that EA has definitely killed Pro Evolution Soccer in comparison to facial structure and just the realism in general. But I wanted to talk about this video uh, in terms of Real Madrid and what players they have. Is there any squad that can be on the same level? If you enjoy the content, make sure to drop a like, share it around the community, and hit me with some comments. What are going to be your top five teams in FIFA 16? If you were about to play the game, what are the five squads you got to use right off the jump? Uh, also, what are you guys thinking for more gameplay on my channel for FIFA 15? I still have Fatal, I'll still throw in some squad builders, but I wanted some feedback from everyone in terms of where, how I can get some more gameplay on display. You can come by the live show always, Twitch TV, forward slash Dirty Mike, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But let's talk about Real Madrid. Uh, and Ronaldo just came off an excellent season. He's going to be the best player in next year's installment. Definitely, arguably, the best player. I don't think that's debatable. You've still got Gareth Bale, who even if he had a downgrade or an upgrade, or stayed the same, he's still going to be someone who's very dynamic. And you team him up with Ronaldo, you can play a lot of different formations. James, whoo, he's going to be upgraded. We got Danilo, a new signing. The defense is solid. Even if Ramos stays or goes, we have Pepe, you have Varane, you have Marcelo, you have uh, Cohen Trow. Then, like I said, with Danilo, goalkeepers only suspect area. Uh, the midfield, you have so many options. Modric, uh, if you want to stick it to people. They're going to have probably some new signings. They had Casemiro come in, the Brazilian. And I just can't see a team having better depth than Real Madrid with some of the dynamic players. The guys that make the difference even when the game gets ugly. I was thinking to myself about Chelsea. Maybe they're going to be competitive. Maybe Bayern Munich will be competitive depending on if players like Lewandowski are able to carry over into FIFA. I felt that Lewandowski was such a huge drop-off in FIFA 15 and that killed Bayern from being a top three squad. Even with all the incredible players, you have Juventus, who's solid, but do they have enough sweat? You have someone like Barcelona, who's got everything, except their defense could be in. They got fast fullbacks. I don't like the central area or the stoppers even in the midfield. And then they lack size, and lacking size is always going to be an issue in my opinion. And some of the skill players, even though EA has tried to stress that they've made a big difference maker in terms of some of the passing are they really going to be the most dominant players no i don't think so when you have size speed and skill it's always going to supersede someone who is smaller and just has a very unique first touch at least that's what we've seen in fifa thus far let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new follow me on twitter and facebook at dirty mike usa and i have a lot more coming your way asap asap